You're listening to today's inspirational message on pursuing God with Gene Apple. Here's Gene. Well, hey, everyone. This weekend, we begin what I think may be the single most important series of the year for many, many people at Eastside because we're going to have an honest dialogue about mental health, asking the question, what's on your mind? You know, two years ago, anxiety and mental health issues were already at an all-time high. Then COVID enter, entered our world. And let's be honest, <laughs> it feels like we've all gone a little bit cuckoo the last couple of years, right? And many of us find ourselves mentally, emotionally, even spiritually at a breaking point. You know it, uh, addiction and alcohol consumption has skyrocketed. Anxiety and depression cases are flooding hospitals more than ever before. Suicide is on the rise. Our students have suffered from isolation and so many losses. And so we're going to open up God's word. We're going to talk about it. And I want you to think about who you could invite for this important series. Who's struggling right now? Who needs encouragement? Whose kids and family are struggling? And pray that God moves in our midst. These past few days, I've been sharing some lessons with you that I learned going through one of the darkest seasons of my life, a season of brokenness after a painful divorce I went through in the 80s. And the lesson I want to share with you today is that when you're going through a season of brokenness, allow God to work in you during this time. Friends, brokenness tends to be one of the greatest schools of higher education that you ever attend. I learned so much that I don't know if I would have learned it in any other way through that time in my life. It was through personal brokenness that I learned when you lose everything that's important to you. And I thought I had lost everything. I mean, I was a pastor going through a divorce, but you still have Jesus Christ. You have enough. I learned the importance of truth telling in relationships, even at the expense of facing painful things about myself. I learned the importance of balance in my life. I think one of the greatest things God taught me through that time was a sensitivity for people crushed by their own experience and going through kind of a crucible. I'll never forget my first Christmas alone again. Many of you have heard me tell this story. It was after our candlelight Christmas Eve services in Vegas. I intended to grab something quick at a drive through to eat, take it home, do some laundry, pack for an early morning flight back to the Midwest to spend Christmas Day with 20 members of my family. I got away from the church that night about 9.30. I was starving. I, I hadn't eaten since the middle of the day. I couldn't find any fast food or supermarket op open. And I was driving around. Finally, I headed out to Samstown. It's a country western themed casino on the east side of Vegas. And to my surprise, the place was hopping. And I walked up. They had a 50 styles diner on the second story. I sat down, I remember, at a table for four all by myself and ordered the blue plate special. It was like a bad dream. And I sat there thinking, I can't believe it. I, I just spoke for thousands of people. And here I am at Sam's town on Christmas Eve, eating meatloaf and mashed potatoes and gravy alone. And just when I thought it couldn't get any worse, somebody put a quarter in the jukebox and Elvis began singing in my ear. Are you lonesome tonight? <laughs> Honestly, I started laughing to myself, maybe to keep from crying. But for a few moments that night, I had some of the loneliest feelings in my life. And the thought that just overwhelmed me was, Gene, here you are, one of the most blessed guys in the world. I mean, you have a church family that loves you and has stood with you through thick and thin. You have more close friends than should be legally allowed to have. You're flying home in the morning to be with over 20 members of your family for Christmas. And, and if you, of all people, can experience these feelings of loneliness, imagine how, how tough life is for people who don't have anybody right now. Well, the Holy Spirit used that to mark me. And as I walked out of the casino that night, I gained a new empathy for hurting people. I looked at all these people, you know, playing the slot machines, video poker machines, table games. And I thought, they don't have anywhere else to go tonight either. Why else would they be here on Christmas Eve? Friends, God used that to teach me a new empathy for hurting people that night. I hope it's made me into a more sensitive pastor. And sometimes I wonder, how would I have learned that lesson without personal pain? So remember, when you're going through 
a season of brokenness, of pain. Allow God to work in you and learn the lessons that you might not have learned in any other way. God, I know we as human beings tend to be stubborn. And sometimes it takes a painful lesson before we change our ways. And God, for my friends, brothers and sisters in your family right now who are in that season of pain, open their eyes. Help them learn what only can be learned in this school of higher education called pain. And I ask it in Jesus' name and for his sake. Amen. Amen. Hey, we'll catch you tomorrow.